सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू व्हाट इज एमआरआई विद कंट्रास्ट व्हेन देयर इज अ नीड ऑफ एमआरआई कंट्रास्ट एंड व्हेन देयर इज नो नीड ऑफ एमआरआई कंट्रास्ट टू बी इंजेक्टेड फॉर डायग्नोसिस पर्पसेस ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल से एमआरआई विद कंट्रास्ट रिफर्स टू अ टाइप ऑफ मैग्नेटिक रिजोनेंस इमेजिंग that involves the use of contrast agent or contrast dye you can say contrast agents are substances that are injected into the body to enhance the visibility of certain structures or abnormalities during the mri procedure when we are seeing edema or some lesions need of mri contrast at that time mri contrast has to be injected for and to enhance the lesion for the better diagnosis contrast agent is usually injected into the vein in your arm before or during mri scan and after injecting the contrast mr machine takes series of images while the contrast agent is flowing through the blood vessel allowing mri machine to assess the structure and the function of the area of interest more effectively contrast enhanced images can provide additional information about blood flow inflammation in this image i will show you here there is a large hypertension signal we can say this is edema here you can see another signal white hypertension signal in these cases we need contrast to enhance the lesion okay so in this case second image i am showing you in this case we have injected a mri contrast afterwards i will show you what is the result after an uh, after injecting iv contrast so this sequence is after giving contrast you can see this is white white these are blood vessels these are blood vessels okay your contrasts are flowing into the blood and now you can see this is the lesion and i will show you the another image this was without contrast and this is with contrast now you can differentiate with and without contrast how it looks after giving contrast here you can see this is the enhancing lesion and this in this image it is only showing edema this is contrast sequence after injecting a contrast now you can see here is a huge enhancing lesion here lesion is also visualized and it is surrounded by edema contrast suppresses the edema and enhances the lesion so in this case i have done contrast here you can see another lesion enhancing multiple lesions are enhancing over here contrast has suppressed the edema this is fat set t1 or you can say fat has been suppressed from the lesion and contrast is enhancing these lesions okay now which type of contrast is used contrast agent used in mri is typically gadolinium based compound gadolinium is a paramagnetic substance that affect the local magnetic field within the body which help to create clear and more detailed images you can see this is a more detailed image than this is without contrast and this is with contrast because the contrast is circulating through the body stream and highlights the specific areas you can see over here these are the abnormal tissues got enhanced by contrast now i will show you another scan i will show you another scan this is another scan you can see here is also a lesion in a cp angle is surrounded by edema now what i have done we have explained the patient for contrast then after they went for iv contrast 
again I will show you and compare the contrast images now I am scrolling together now in this first sequence you can see here is an edema flare is a best sequence to take a decision for contrast ok many lesions are many lesions required contrast and many lesions doesn't require contrast like uh, there is sometime a hemorrhage hemorrhage doesn't need of contrast enhancing ok and sometimes there is an infarct acute infarct subacute infarct or old infarct in that cases also there is no need of contrast when you are seeing a edema surrounding or some type of lesion which needs contrast at that time only you have to go for contrast now you can see here is the lesion and this is intensely enhancing lesion over here this is fat set T1 post contrast sequence dye has been injected in the veins and then after we have taken multiple sections for a better diagnosis now before contrast what you have to do some people may have a allergic reaction reactions some people may have allergic reactions to the contrast agent but it is relatively rare but most common side effects are mild such as sensation of warm or metallic taste in a mouth or sometime nausea severe reactions in MRI contrast are extremely rare but can include difficulty in breathing swelling ok so before undergoing an MRI with contrast it's essential to inform your healthcare provider if you have any known allergic reactions kidney problems and other conditions they may affect the use of contrast agent ok sometimes patients are having a complaint of sulfa they are having allergy of sulfa so before undergoing contrast study always you should inform your consultant doctor or MRI technician or a radiologist that you are having a allergies of any of the medicines ok so before going they may take a proper care before giving contrast and one main thing before going contrast always go for a serum creatinine report so it measures your kidney levels if creatinine report is normal then only you should go for contrast study ok so hope this video will be helpful for the patients who are undergoing for contrast studies mostly tumors need contrast study for a better and definitive diagnosis hope you will like my video please like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates thanks for watching